This is the start of a series of videos that are going to explain how to do the digital technologies Arduino Explorer task that we have assigned to our students. Um, what I've done is I've created a booklet that allows the student to work through it but there are a couple of things that the teacher does need to know some of the tips and tricks that I've learned. So the booklet has areas where, as, as I'm seeing, showing you here, areas where the students can fill out information and also learn from you. There's things like um, some examples of control technology uh, and a whole series of events that can be worked through. The most important thing that needs to be understood by the students is that this is a design folio that can be submitted at the end of their learning and it does have a rubric on it so uh, you can go through that booklet prior to teaching the class but the most important part of this is how this integrates or works with the Explorer and that's by this highlighted area here and what we're asking the students to do is to um, create an alarm using the Arduino Explorer uh, detecting motion, sound, heat or light or all of them uh, which is what I've got my students to do. Uh, so this series of videos will be about how to do that using the Explorer, what sort of code you need and um, what sort of tips and tricks are worth using. On Compass, I do have some learning tasks that are quite good for the each step-by-step -step process to follow, but these videos will be on um, making sense of all of that. Uh, so if I go to Compass and go to the learning task, uh, sorry, our res school resources, and I go into our TAS area, stage four, and go to digital technologies and look at the learning tasks, there are how to actually do things like declaring variables. Functions are fun, uh, make an alarm, make a better alarm, and make an alarm even better. So there's, there's some steps, and those are located also in the Crack the Code booklet. So you can see here that I put some uh, literacy, some information about uh, control technologies, uh, how to install the software, which will be the next part of this video, and also some activities where it says, this is the learning intention about pseudocode. Uh, if I keep going down, you can see that the first one for the uh, Explorer is to write RGB. So we learn how to actually create uh, a light and these are the explanations, so you, you can see the learning intention and the success criteria is about, you know, what happens when this is run, you know, what did you get from that. So the students get an opportunity to fill that out. So the next video will be about how to install the uh, Arduino software, which is this one here, onto your computer and where you can access it. And what also I've learned from when the students go to do it.